fact in 2006. Byron Leftwich, first starts November 27th, coming off that broken left ankle. There's Tom Brady, Daniel Graham getting into it. And of course, there is the legend, Teddy Bruschi. Dressed, but did not play a down. Second quarter, third down and six on the Jags 11. Tom Brady, Troy Brown. Only catch was productive. Just his second postseason TD for Brown. That's a big deal for him. 7 nothing pass. Second quarter, Jags ball. Hand off, Alvin Pearman, and watch his pop. Schnikes. Eugene Wilson, the hit, the fumble, recovered by the Patriots. Let me hear your body talk. Pats wouldn't score on that possession. Under 30 seconds left, Patriots ball. Brady deep to Dion Branch. Oh, looks like a late first half gift six. Oh, bless his heart. He must be the sickest man in America. Adam Benateri, your thoughts on the sideline? Don't! Oh. Pats led 7-3 at the half, 42-1. Their last 43 games, including playoffs, when leading at the half. Third quarter, Brady to Branch. Brady, 15-27, a 116.4 passer rating. Same drive. Brady to Ben Watson. Costs it up, but look at Andre Davis on the spot. Watson, thankful. First and goal from the three now. Play action, David Gibbons. Six straight postseason game with a TD. Only my ectomorph soulmate, John Stallworth, has a longer streak at eight. 14-3 Pats, threatening to pull away later. Mr. Benjamin Watson breaks two tackles, make it three, oh. and now it's just thoroughbred time. Look at this tight end run, 63 yards. He had five catches for 91. It's now 21-3 New England. Jaguars ensuing possession on first down, Willie McGinnis. Byron left, which his first career playoff start didn't go all that well. He saw Willie McGinnis all night long. Fourth quarter, same possession. Jaguars go for it, fourth and five. Santi Samuel, look at him. And Samuel takes it 73 yards. 28 to three, and this one is over. Watch it again. In cover two, reading the quarterback's eyes perfectly. Here it comes. He tied for the team lead with three picks during the regular season. What a beautiful play. David Gerard will later come in the game to relieve Leftwich. And guess what? William McGinnis, four and a half sacks in this game, sets an NFL playoff record. Also, his 16th career playoff sack. Also, an NFL record. Winner, winner. Playoff chicken dinner. Wow. The Patriots set an NFL record with their 10th consecutive playoff win. Lombardi's Packer teams won nine in a row in the 1960s. If the Bengals win Sunday, the Pats play the Colts next weekend. If the Steelers beat Cincinnati, the Patriots go to Denver to play the Broncos. The wing and loss to both the Colts and Broncos during the regular season. Oh no, Mr. Bill. Certainly could, we could play better. I'm sure we could coach better. But it was a good win. And, uh, you know, now we're on to whoever we play already beat us pretty handily this year, whichever team it ends up being. So we know we've got to work it out for us next week. It took a while for everything to come, come together, and it's starting to gel. We didn't play our best football today. You know, we played a really good team. We have a lot of respect for them. But we still, still uh, could have done some things better. Everyone just kind of lets everyone else take the credit because there's a lot to go around when you win. And there's a lot of guys who deserve a lot of credit, everybody on the roster. So, like I said, whether you're catching the touchdown pass or you're lead blocking on the touchdown pass, as long as we're scoring, everyone's happy. And, and that's why it's fun to play quarterback, and that's why I think I'm the luckiest quarterback in the league. Tom Brady is dreamy in the postseason, 10-0 in the playoffs. That sets an NFL record for most consecutive playoff victories. Take a look at the big picture. In those 10 playoff games, Brady, 14 touchdowns, three picks, 61% of his chucks are complete. But Sean Salisbury, what about the other side of the football?